Islam. Rise, 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 rise of Islam. Rise. We are stronger together, united as one. Oh my. First Battles Against the Persians Within a year after Caliph Abu Bakr Radantala sent 11 army groups to establish peace agreements, the entire Arabia was finally in peace. But now, Arabia was surrounded by two very big enemies, Rome and Persia. The Christian Romans were on the northwest side and the fire-worshipping Persians were on the northeast side of Arabia. They did not like each other at all. Back when our Prophet Muhammad was spreading the message of Islam all over Arabia, at the same time for many years, the Persians and the Romans were too busy fighting with each other. So, the border town people did not like their Roman and Persian leaders at all. The bad Romans and Persian rulers did not give their people the freedom of religion. The Romans forced their people to become Christian, and the Persians forced their people to worship fire. And if the people did not listen, they would punish their people. Both of these empires also had their own problems in the royal family. The bad King Heraclius married his own niece. Even in Christianity, that was a big sin. So, many of his people did not like him anymore. Heraclius' own brother, Theodore, also did not like it and became very mad. The Persian king also was very bad. He was very greedy for more power and started to destroy his own brothers. At one point, they started a civil war and destroyed each other to be the leader. It was so bad that all the men in the Persian royal family were destroyed. Finally, at the end, an eight-year-old boy named Yazdegerd III became the Persian king. He was so young that the Persian army leader, Rustam, had to help him run the country. And this made the Persians really weak. At that time, Yemen and Uman were under the Persian control. But when the Persians were fighting with each other, Yemen and Uman decided to use that opportunity and leave the Persian Empire. And soon, they decided to join the Muslim ruler, the Rashidun Caliphate. At first, the Persians and the Romans did not care about the small Muslim power. But when the Muslims were getting stronger day by day, both empires got worried. When Caliph Abu Bakr Adantala's good leadership qualities was able to unite the entire Arabia together, they got scared. So. They planned to first attack the Muslim border cities to break the Muslim unity and then slowly take over Medina. In that situation, Caliph Abu Bakr Adantala tried to spread Islam in the Roman and Persian border town areas. He then ordered the four top Muslim generals to enter the Roman border town area and told them not to attack or destroy anything. Their only job at that moment was to peacefully spread the message of Islam to 
with the Syrian, Lebanese, Jordanian, and Palestinian Christian. The four top Muslim generals were Abu Ubaida, Umar, Sharabil, and Uncle Yazid. Just to clarify, this Uncle Yazid was Abu Sufyan's son. He was a respected top Muslim general who helped make Islam stronger. That's why in this series, we will call him Uncle Yazid. Most people are familiar with his nephew, the other Yazid, who will come much later. He was Muawiyah's son and who was known to have a bad historical impression. At this point, since the majority of the Muslims were Arabs, the non-Muslim Arabs in the border towns easily agreed to be on the Muslim side and helped them because they trusted their Arab brothers and sisters instead of the Roman king. They also knew that the Muslims were good and the Muslims would give them the freedom to practice whatever religion they wanted to follow. At the same time, Caliph Abu Bakr Adintala also wanted to spread the message of Islam peacefully in Persia. So, many Iraqi Arabs of Persia joined with the Muslims to have the freedom of religion. Soon, the message of Islam was peacefully spreading all along the border towns of Rome and Persia. This was really important for the future of Islam because slowly it was helping the Muslims become stronger. These non-Muslim Arabs in the border towns wanted to have freedom and peace. They realized that even if they didn't become Muslims, they had much more freedom than before under the Muslim Empire. And seeing this, Many people also became Muslims and followed the beautiful religion of Islam. One of the Persian border tribe leaders' name was Muthanna. For many years, they used to fight against the Persian Empire for their freedom. But when Muthanna heard about the message of Islam, he and his people became Muslims. This made the Persians really mad and they were coming to destroy them all. Since Muthanna and his people were now under the Muslim Caliphate, to solve their problem, Caliph Abu Bakr Adantala sent some Muslim soldiers to help Muthanna stop the Persian army. Because Muthanna knew the Persian ways of fighting, Caliph Abu Bakr Adantala made Muthanna one of the Muslim generals. This was the first time the Muslims were involved with one of the biggest empires at that time. Then, Caliph Abu Bakr Adantala ordered Commander-in-Chief Khalid bin Walid to join Muthanna. Together, they stopped the Persians and protected the Persian Muslims' homes. But it was hard to fight against the Persians. In one of the battles called the Battle of the Chains, the Persian army chained themselves together to show that they were not scared and was ready to die. One after another, the bad Persian army tried to attack the Muslim border towns. Every time, the Muslims first tried to make a peace agreement so that both sides can have peace in society. But they were too arrogant and thought that they were better than the Muslims. But the Muslims had a strong faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and tried to stop the evil power and bring peace and freedom to the people. One by one, the Muslims won the battle with the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the people in the border towns which made the Islamic empire bigger. And soon, the Muslims got bigger all the way up to the Euphrates River. 
one of the last places where they fought was in Faraz, which bordered the Arabs, Persians, and the Romans. Here in the Battle of Faraz, at the Euphrates River, the Persians and the Romans joined together for the first time to stop and hurt the Muslims. But the Muslims were not scared at all. At first, the Persian and Roman armies were on the other side of the Euphrates River. Again, the Muslims offered them to make a peace agreement. But they decided to show their power and cross the river to fight against the Muslims. After crossing the river, they became tired and soon the Muslims won that war against the very strong enemy. That was Khalid bin Walid's last fight against the Persians. The bad Persians did not want peace with the Muslims and the border towns. And soon, because of their arrogance, the Muslims were finally in control of the Persian Mesopotamia area in Iraq for the first time with the blessings of Allah. <laughs>